Moin, welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're looking at 20 weird things in German supermarkets and I will compare them from my experience to what we get here in our little simple Canadian supermarkets. I'm on Vancouver Island on the west coast of beautiful British Columbia. Let's get into it. One of the questions I often get since moving to Germany is how do you get to the grocery store without a car? In most cities in Germany, there are many Transit. supermarkets <laughs> within a few hundred meters of residential areas. There are several large supermarket chains throughout. <laughs> like who would ask that? How do you get to the supermarket without a car? Well, there's such thing as bicycles. Um, I, I suppose as long as you have uh, or you're getting the amount of groceries that you can fit in your, your bicycle cart. Or there's such a thing as grocery bags. And, you know, there's such a thing as carrying them places. If you live within walking distance, it's definitely it's definitely possible. It's possible to put groceries into a bag and carry them. Yeah. Mind blowing. Germany and also small local grocers or kiosks. So you can actually go without a car. Bike life. And then the next question is, what are grocery stores like? And that is what we're going to do today. We're going to go to a couple of supermarkets and we're going to show them a little bit, but also check out some weird items that are super normal in Germany, but maybe not in your country. Our first stop is a local Lidl, which is a German Lidl. supermarket that has many locations around the world. One thing that you'll usually find in Germany is a fund or a deposit machine to return your cans, cases, and bottles. All right, first things first when you're in a supermarket in Germany, the fund. You're returning empty. Uh, you know, we've seen these before in prior videos, and I, I do kind of wish that we had something like this. However, putting them in one by one seems like it would take... Actually, no, like if the machine scans it, I guess that works as well. Like usually we have to sort them anyways, but what we also do is we just have these big bags and then as long as you make sure you put in the right cans or the right bottles you can just fill up that bag and then you just say 200 and then when you bring it in you just say here's a bag and they say how many i say oh it's 200 and they go Chi ching and give you your return so i kind of like that system too but then you can just throw them in the bag at home get the bag put it in the truck Take it to the return at depot and give them the bag. 200. Ching. Bottles because they are just rented. It's party in there. <laughs> Woohoo! Some from our beer video, which uh, looks like they're not taking. No! Come on. <laughs> All right, one of the first things that might be also uncommon you need to put a coin in your cart. Now it's unlocked. Time to get that euro back. So we've seen this on prior videos as well. This is pretty common in Canada at least. We have the same system here. There is some stores that don't require coins like Costco. You don't require a coin at Costco. I don't know why they why they do and why they don't. It's it's a measure to prevent homeless from stealing them, but at the end. In a German supermarket you'll find the standard items like flour, eggs, rice, and water. Although a lot of sparkling water if you're into that sort of stuff. But there are also some unique things which I should preface uh what I just said, it's not just because homeless stealing them and they also, the stores are now putting security devices on them. So like the homeless can't uh, steal them. But I think it's also a incentive for people to return their carts to the cart corral because people are very lazy and they'll often just leave their carts in the middle of a parking lot, in the middle of a parking stall. And then, you know, they're rolling across the parking lot in the wind and bashing into vehicles because people are very inconsiderate. Uh, so they have to be treated as much as they can be like children. So this is just a measure to help them try to do the right thing, the considerate thing, and put it back in the court, cart corral or where you got it from. In supermarket, you'll find the standard items like flour, eggs, rice, and water. Although a lot of sparkling water if you're into that sort of stuff. But there are also some unique things which we want to show off. Curry ketchup. You I've seen this one, the curry ketchup, the famous curry ketchup. Can I order this off Amazon? I'm going to look. I'll look. I'll see if I can get some of these items and, and do a, a food video. Uh, but yeah, we also love our sparkling water. So Can't have curry worse without curry ketchup or curry sauce. Also very delicious on fries. They sell it in these huge bottles everywhere. Paprika chips. If you like chips, I hope you like paprika flavor. It is probably the most popular chip flavor offered here in Germany, and it's pretty good. And while we're here, there are also peanut flavored puffs, 
that have the texture of Cheetos, but the flavor of peanut butter. It's interesting. Hmm. Quark. That sounds good. This is a dairy product that can be used as a spread or a dip. It has a mild flavor and it's creamy and the Germans love it on their bread slices in the morning. While we're in the dairy aisle... It looks kind of like... Sour cream almost? Creamy and the Germans love it on their bread slices in the morning. While we're in the dairy aisle, Stinke Käse or Stinky Cheese is a unique one. This stuff smells so bad that every time you open your fridge, you will know there's some Stinke Käse inside. Milk. One thing you'll notice is that the milk is often not refrigerated like in the US. And they are usually in these cuboid cartons instead of a jug of milk. It will also be measured in liters and not gallons. And over the past few years, there has been an exponential growth in plant-based milk. Bread slicing machines. One thing that's in many supermarkets in Germany is a bread slicer. So you can slice your fresh bread. There's usually fresh bread bread here and you can just get it sliced. We're probably not going to get one today since we're holding off on the bread a little bit, but uh, we've definitely done it before and it's delicious. We couldn't let Lidl have all the fun, so we visited a few other nearby supermarkets to see what they had. Show me your favorite item. This eye poker. You this poke your eggs. I pick. This is a machine. <laughs> I poke a hole in your egg before you boil it. Yeah. So it doesn't pop. It's incredible. Eggs that are not refrigerated. Poke a hole in the egg before you boil it. Oh, for, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah. it doesn't pop. It's incredible. Eggs that are not refrigerated. This might be strange to anyone from the US where eggs are required to be refrigerated, but not to worry, the eggs on shelves in Germany are safe to eat. There are just regulations throughout Europe that prioritize egg production opposed to post-egg washing. Also, you'll notice that eggs are commonly in packs of 10 and not a dozen. White asparagus in jars. For 25 years, I thought this Sparkle. is the only way to have asparagus. It is ready to eat right from the jar. White asparagus or Weißer Spargel is seasonal and quite delicious, but these you can get all year round. You can even order white asparagus on pizza. Baking packets. <laughs> Doesn't if you look bake, that you'll good. notice that there are packets for baking powder, yeast, vanilla, creams, and so much more. The German recipes will even list out one packet of backpulver or baking powder as a required amount. Taking individual bottles. All right, this is actually very common in the German supermarket. You just rip the packages open and take single bottles, and that's why it looks like this. It looks like These a mess. Empty packages. <laughs> and it feels kind of weird to do that, but super normal. Very normal here. And also you have the apple Schorle, the apple with the sparkling water mix, or the apple rhubarb, like the German's favorite summer drink. Rhubarba. Rhubarb. And for more Rubaba. drinks, you Rubaba can get Barbara. alcohol in supermarkets here. Beer, wine, even spirits, it's all in one place. You don't have to go to another store to get your favorite beer or whiskey. Yeah, this is dependent on what province you're in. Um, I like it says there, don't drink and drive. We cannot buy alcohol typically in grocery stores in British Columbia. There is certain stores that sell wine and a small selection of craft beer, but... For the most part, no. Uh, in the United States, a lot of like even gas stations and like almost everywhere is going to be selling beer in tandem with any other kind of grocery goods, but not here, unfortunately. Regular supermarket, and then here's the harder liquor stuff. Bourbon. Some Greek ouzo, no problem. Romancini. Yummy. There's gin. Yogurt. And there's the vodka down there. Premium vodka. Eight seventy nine the whole bottle. Also, we found this Duff beer and I just had to buy it. Fish in jars Wait, is also did you say Duff beer? This Duff beer I just had That's amazing. They have Duff beer from the Simpsons? To buy it. Fish in jars is also a thing. You might be used to canned tuna, but take a delicious fish roll that's slightly pickled right from the jar and put it on a bread roll. Yummy. One thing you can get is all the German snacks and candy, the latest and the greatest. Peanut butter knoppers. I really like these rice crispy things. Ooh. No mm. name Dickmans. Those are also here. A lot of good stuff. It's dangerous. <laughs> yes. Let's ride this sweet train over to the frozen section and spaghetti ice. This ice cream dessert is in the shape of spaghetti and it is a very common thing here in Germany. When I first visited, I thought it was a bit strange, but it tastes nothing like spaghetti and it- We've seen the spaghetti ice and 
quite a few other videos now. It's obviously a very popular novelty. It's a very fun way to enjoy vanilla and strawberry flavors. Before we continue looking at weird things, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Do it. It's free. Thank you. If you want to further support us, you can become a channel member or family tier. Heather, Ka Megan, Ka in Germany, we like our packaged meats. You will find an assortment of blood sausage, wurst, met, and something else called Wurstsalat. This sausage salad is... Is that like the meat salad? <laughs> sausage salad. A chopped mortadella type of meat in some type of cream or mayonnaise and pickles. Pretty weird. Tampons without apple... That sounds like it'd be really good as like a small dish. Like if the serving was very small and as a side to something else, but... Oh. If you're coming from the U.S., this might seem strange, but it is very difficult to find tampons with applicators in Germany and a lot of other countries around the world. These tampons tend to be smaller and easier to carry around. Also, they use less plastic overall. All right, so we just made it home. We bought some of the weirder things. We bought some of the non-weird things. The necessities. Those were... They don't have much, but uh, they got... Toilet paper, eggs, Some chips, items that I always found super duff beer. Normal growing up here in Germany and took Diana to come here to show me that they're not normal everywhere. Yeah, some of them are pretty unique, but let us know what's unique or weird in your country. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Sometimes it's almost hard to know what's weird if you don't have enough experience in other countries, right? I could do a tour of one of our main grocery stores and or, or just a grocery haul that we do. Uh, we typically go to Costco once every two weeks, once every week or two, and then we pick up small, fresher, fresh grocery items from farmer's markets and smaller grocery chains nearby our house. All right. Anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.